Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of air, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising. Um, this is from March 8th through the 10th, 2019. Alright, so I've shuffled and cut the cards. Let's see what the weekend brings. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, also remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate. All right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have the emperor, the star, knight of wands, the wheel, Eight of Pentacles, Justice, Two of Cups, and the Lovers. All right, so you guys, um, based off of the collective energy, there is someone that wants to come through. Someone is definitely at a distance. I mean, if they're not uh, in a different state or city um, or a significant amount of, you know, distance between the two of you, um, then it's more so maybe there has been distance in communication. Um, but someone is, I feel like someone is galloping, like the, the horse is coming towards you or they're coming in their vehicle or in their ride. Um, Whatever mode of transportation, I feel like the will is being steered and someone is coming towards you. So I, I definitely feel that there is getting ready to be a shift. Uh, you may be getting ready to start a new um, cycle um, with someone in your coming into your life. Um, I also feel like those of you that are actually beginning your cycles. Um, it's like simultaneously, this when someone comes into your life. Uh, I, I see something in regards to a, a definite love connection. For some of you, it's a twin flame. For some of you, it's a soulmate. And for others of you, it is dealing with both energies. Like something's happening and it could be because of the Mercury being retrograde that that transit is bringing forth um, people, you know, that you're that you have that you're destined to connect with, basically. So I feel like your destiny is changing, is shifting. I'm definitely seeing um, karma, and remember, you guys, uh, karma is not necessarily a negative thing. It just means that whatever whatever was played out in a previous life is just kind of is coming back around um is the results of some sort of previous action so this is part of your destiny and is is contracted here this is having some sort of agreement here whether it be spiritual um or even if it was like on a mundane level something in regards to moving in together or exchanging vows. It's, it's like making something official here, whether it's a verbal agreement or a written agreement. Um, also, those of you that this has, you know, if it's not in regards to love, I see something happening in regards to your work. Um, so some of you are maybe very passionate about your work this weekend and you're kind of, um, hammering out details or just being very dedicated and very focused to your craft. Um, I'm saying for some of you, you you do what you're passionate about. So you could be a writer um, or you could be someone who just channels your work, your channels your, um, your passion into your work. You might be some sort of jewelry maker for some of you, I feel like even if you are into sports, like you're being active or you're dealing with someone who is uh, who works in sports or is an athlete, um, 
but something I feel like something overall is bringing you in alignment with with your partner here this is something happening for many of you um, you guys are being brought together by the universe by outside forces they're at work and I feel like the time is right especially those of you that have just been waiting and waiting and waiting like it is happening now so whether someone is literally coming to your home coming to your job or just a phone call it's, it's like you should be hearing from someone over the weekend someone should be reaching out to you uh, whether even if they're just sending like a, a song because I'm getting that emotional energy like someone has selected a song to play for the other person um, I also see the possibility of someone kind of posting over the internet or you know so, through social media using that as a platform to express their love for another person but I feel like the feeling is mutual um, the only downfall is that whenever I see the lovers um, even though these are two people who are very much in love and very much coming together for a reason you or the other person is attached to someone so someone is having to or involved I don't want to say attached because it just makes it sound like they can't let go although that could be the case for some people but it just means that somebody is going to have to make that decision uh, the lovers is two people who uh, like want Cupid like intervene between someone's relationship um, the Cupid didn't care that so so and so was already with somebody Cupid is like no I'm setting this up. I'm playing matchmaker here. I feel like this is a good match for you, even if it's only for a certain period of time. Like there's a need for you guys to connect because you guys wrote a contract and you guys agreed to fulfill this contract. Um, if this is a contract that is that you can't escape, then those of you that study astrology, that would be the North Node. Like North Node is stored karma that you have to complete in this life. Um, you know, is is you know Saturn involves karma too, but the North Node is karma that you have to fulfill in this life. So if you know your birth chart, I would advise you to see what sign your North 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 Node is in. I like saying Rahu. Because that's the Indian, <laughs> that's the Indian translation, and I just like the way it rolls off better. But yeah, you should check and see where your Rahu is placed, um, see what sign it's in, and then if you know your exact birth time, that really makes a difference because then you would know what house is sitting in, and that house is very important. Um, for instance, I realized that my North Node is in my fourth house, and it confirms that. I came to this life not only just to be a mother, that was like my mission, um, it was something that was inevitable. And then I also always as a child had a burning desire to own my own home, um, which I have in the past. I did accomplish that. Um, I lost my home. But, <laughs> but the point is, is that, you know, it's something about me that is, is very passionate and very driven towards everything that deals with the fourth house um, and I feel like I'm fulfilling all of those fourth house matters so I know my exact birth time but if you know your exact birth time that that helps you know where yours is placed if it's placed in a seventh house you might have an obsession or just a, a drive for marriage um, a drive for connecting with other people a drive even for being a lawyer um, because you feel like you're the perfect um, mediator or moderator. Um, but a lot of times, you, it, it, depending on the sign in the house, that will tell you your uh, mission here by looking at that north node. So that's just my little homework for you guys. <laughs> And then look, I feel like somebody's doing their homework. They're like, okay, let me go and, and find out my exact birth time and, and drop this birth chart. Um, and figure out where my north node is sitting so I could figure out what my purpose is. Um, 
so yeah I, I feel like what I was saying too is that it seems like this is something that is it has to happen um, now it doesn't necessarily mean like a relationship but you have you have to connect with this person if this is someone brand new that you don't know you guys made an agreement to come together for whatever reason um, you guys are either supposed to be lovers or you're supposed to work together especially I feel like the the twin flame energy has been coming out a lot so I know those of you that have been excited about hearing from your twin flame it is showing up again um, and I think you know the I don't know what I said for Gemini I think in a Libra reading though there was the mention of twin flames either way you know I feel like you are this this weekend is about you're being steered in a direction that will guide you towards you know the person that you are meant to be with at this time and see the Emperor he's been planning on doing this for a long time um, maybe previously things weren't going in his favor um, and now I feel like something's being released um, whatever constraints invisible constraints there were by the universe I just feel like it's like okay you're free to you're free to go here's your little window of opportunity go now and so whether you are the person pursuing or getting ready to be pursued I just kind of feel like things are being aligned for that to happen for you this weekend um, I also see this uh, again going back to work um, you're being guided towards something that you really are passionate passionate about and really want to do if you've recently had a job interview I feel like that job interview went well and you're being offered a position your life could be changing your finances could be changing um, and you're signing some sort of contract like making something official so maybe you're filling out that um, W-2 form and you know send, sending over documents faxing or emailing over you know do documents and making something official so definitely uh, an agreement is being made between two parties this weekend um, something else I was getting ready to say I mean I just really basically feel like that that is that's it in a nutshell like be prepared because the Emperor he's he's been dreaming about you or you've been dreaming about him maybe he's even been telepathically sending messages to you um, and if especially if you've recently had like a dream about a relationship or about someone that you know I feel like that was just kind of like a, a heads up that this person was on their way and they're they're ready I, I feel like this person is talking about uh, traditional things like marriage or moving in together um, if you're already in a relationship your partner is maybe wanting to make things official update the status um, telling everybody this is my officially my girlfriend or officially my fiance or my wife um, I'm seeing too like a, a business partnership that's going to evolve into something romantic so even if you're like no we're just business partners you guys are definitely attracted to one another all this fire energy um, is, is very intense and the two of you may be starting off just as business partners but it's going to evolve into something romantic give it time um, the two of you think alike you're both very spiritual minded um, this is very uh, a very random name just popped in my head it might not even make sense for anyone uh, but the name Baxter just kind of popped into my head I have no clue if that is for anybody or not but and I started not to say it because I'm like Baxter who knows anybody named Baxter but just in case you know um, that's some name that I'm getting here um, I feel like this is pretty much straightforward um, if anything I can just kind of look and see what else the will is additional information the will is speaking of 
Now, on a metaphysical, a very strange and metaphysical note, something in an, like spacecraft comes to mind. Um, I don't know if you are someone who purposely looks out into the sky looking for UFOs uh, or looking for unusual activities um, or if you've recently witnessed if you've recently witnessed a UFO or an outer body experience um, I'm kind of getting something like that especially like speaking of people who talk about like feeling like they've been abducted before or signs of abduction like memory loss like some I've had strange experiences like one minute I was wide awoke and the next minute I was waking up and it was just like it was weird it felt more like time loss like I'm not a, I always know when I'm sleepy I know when I'm falling asleep but there have been times where I just ended up falling asleep and was just like this is I don't remember falling asleep at all. I wasn't even sleepy. And when it happened, it's happened a couple of times since my awakening. And it's very, it's very unusual. It's almost like someone sent a signal and, and zapped me to sleep or something. It's very unusual. Um, but yeah, I was getting something in regards to spacecraft or time travel portals. I don't know if some of you have been researching that. Or you're having that in common with somebody. Um, okay, so I'm getting something in regards to... I feel like you've been kind of avoiding or being resistant towards your destiny. Or maybe when it happens, you're going to be very guarded. Like you... I don't know. Like you don't trust what's happening... Um, and I also feel like you are feeling the need to kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like confront someone or someone is confronting you or about something. They're like, tell me the truth. And also the energy I'm getting is an air sign. So um, I know this is air sign readings, but it could still have something to do with a, another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something in regards to a message being sent. I don't know if someone is saying, did you send this message? Or someone, or like someone sends a message by mistake, but it was meant to happen. Or someone calls you by mistake, or they call you and they say, I didn't mean to call you. And it's just like, apparently you were thinking about me. You know, you pressed on my face. So there's something, something going on where someone may be saying like, I didn't mean to call you. And they're acting really shitty. And it's just like, okay, well, bye. And it's like, wait, what, what have you been up to? You know, it's just like, why you want to know? I thought you didn't mean to call me. So I'm feeling like this starts off, the beginning starts off very, with someone being very guarded and defensive here. Um, but it was meant to happen. I feel like this was a, something that looks like a mistake, but it is actually meant to happen. I'm also getting Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and Aries, Leo, Leo or Sag. Um, I also feel like this is talking about a follower. Something about following. Someone might start following you. Or the person is currently following you, you have a connection with. Um, you know, like a romantic connection with one of your followers. There is an attraction there. And I feel like there is an opportunity to talk. Now, I feel too like there are some issues in regards to communication. Someone needs to learn how to express themselves and not come off so intimidating or so, so harsh. And I also feel like for some of you, 
you may be trying to fight a connection because of the age difference. So you might be connecting with someone who's much younger or who's much older. And it's like, you know, we're too different. I don't want this person. But you, you're being asked to just kind of go with the flow of things. Just allow it to happen. So, yeah. All right, air signs. Um, you've got some decisions to make this weekend. Uh, I feel like you're going to go back and forth for a little bit, but I also feel like, you know, answers are coming out. Truth is coming out. Things are being made right. Um, I feel like if someone feels like they owe you an apology or someone wants forgiveness, that could happen. And there's one other thing that I was picking up on. Um, settlements receiving some sort of settlement or uh, award money for some of you this might just be a confirmation that you're getting your income taxes um getting a return that return money this weekend and and you need to make a decision on how to spend it um oh and one last other thing i see a lot of you this may be the first weekend that you're starting your own business like this is the first, the like, I don't know, whatever it is, this is your first time um, working for yourself and just overall, just really loving working for yourself, being an entrepreneur. All right, so I hope that has helped. I hope it resonates. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.